What movie do you consider perfect? Alien. The Hunt for Red October. Believable characters, believable tech even for the one bleeding edge thing that underpins the whole movie. Deaths are few and significant. Very little in the way of special effects so what is there doesn't screw things up too badly. It's a repeat watch for me. I would like to have seen Montana. The hardest part about playing chicken is knowing when to flinch. Right full rudder. 30 degree down angle. You arrogant ass. You've killed us. Airplane. This is one of those movies that's the equivalent of the Balmer peak. If the comedy broke just a little, or the timing was off, it would be really bad. Instead it's comedic genius from Mrs. Brady being the only one who could speak jive to all the exterior shots of a jet that has propeller noises. Edit, thank all 300 of you who have correctly pointed out that it was Mrs. Cleaver. John Carpenter's The Thing It's the perfect blend of isolation, paranoia, bloody horror, practical effects, and a shape-shifting alien. Edit, obligatory thanks for gold silver platinum. Plus this unused idea for the final confrontation is a must-see by anyone who has enjoyed this movie edit too. Can't believe I forgot about the write-up that tells the story from the alien's perspective. Thanks to Scars the Vampire. It makes some assumptions about the end, but is still an enjoyable read. Die Hard. Perfect action movie. Also Alan Rickman. Edit, you peak he yay, I got gold for mentioning the best Christmas movie ever. Thank you. Raiders of the Lost Ark is the perfect action movie for me. The intro to Indiana Jones in the Jungle is perfect, even with little dialogue. The pacing is great, the characters are solid, the humor is natural, the environments are diverse, and the music is unforgettable. Just an awesome, fun time. I love Raiders but I feel like there are a lot of developments that happen in it just because. Indy and Marion used to have a relationship, now Marion hates him. Until the next scene where she decides that she doesn't. Indy is a skeptic who doesn't believe in God. Until the end of the movie where he suddenly thinks that he and Marion should close their eyes when the Nazis open the Ark. There's a point A and a point B, but there isn't a whole lot about what happens in between these two major character developments. On the other hand, you know what movie does this really well? The Last Crusade. That whole movie is about Indy and Henry S.R. Mending a broken relationship and learning to respect one another. We see why they don't get along throughout the whole movie, yet they both share multiple moments that bring them closer. So when Indy's dad calls him Indiana and tells him to let the grail go, that moment is totally earned. Two great movies, one is an iconic classic. But the other is perfect, in my opinion. Let's not forget the awkward bond of Junior and SR. Realizing they're Eskimo brothers. The best double take in movie history. She talks in her sleep. Dad. I'm as human as the next man. I was the next man. Ships that pass in the night. Goodwill Hunting. Oh brother, where art thou hands down? John Goodman playing a cyclops as a one-eyed clansman. That movie is masterful. Mama says you ain't bona fide since you was hit by that train. Lol this is a mashup of two different lines. Office Space Edit, thank you Redditors for some hilarious comments and threads. Edit, thank you kind Redditor for the silver. Edit, thank you for the gold. I now have two pieces of flair. My only complaint is that it hurts to watch because it's too real. That's usually a sign that it's time to find a new job. It's like when my father left his job in 1999, and he said that Dilbert was no longer funny because it was too real. Yeah, that's the conclusion I came to. Fortunately, I've since left the job that made me feel that way. I sometimes worry that I won't be able to find a job that won't make me feel that way though. Stand by me. Groundhog Day. Don't forget Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day 2 Man. Young Frankenstein Wow. Gold Twice? Thanks kind strangers. But it is like the best movie. Frau Butcher. Horses Nay. What about Bob? Richard Dreyfus legitimately hated Bill Murray on set. Julie Haggerty is a comic genius, Charlie Corsmo puts in a child performance for the ages, and for bonus a young Catherine Erb from Law Order. Dreyfus in interview said that Bill Murray got drunkenly belligerent, yelled at the top of his lungs to Dreyfus nobody likes you. 
and then threw a glass ash tray at Richard Dreyfus's head. I'm partial to believe Dreyfus as I've heard similar stories about Bill Murray. But I'm also partial in believing what Murray said was accurate, because I've heard countless stories regarding actors who hated working with Dreyfus. Murray and Chase hated each other on Caddyshack, believe that was a big part of what made the dynamic work. Edit, first gold, thank you. I've heard, and who knows how much truth there is to it, that the whole they hated each other has been blown out of proportion as years go by. But the account I heard was that basically Chevy tended to keep more to himself and didn't party with the rest of cast and such, and was seen kind of as a prima donna by not just Murray necessarily, but many of the other actors in general. So, they tended to only interact when they were shooting scenes together, and that coupled with the fact that Murray in effect replaced Chase on SNL led folks to read more into the tension between them. So, it could be that they just weren't friends and chose not to hang out together, but again, that's just one account I read somewhere, who knows? Maybe they did hate each other's guts. The First Blues Brothers It's 106 miles to Chicago, we have a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes, it's dark and we're wearing sunglasses. Hate it. I hate Illinois Nazis. Catch me if you can. Literally the smoothest MF to ever live, that movie was wild. The fact that it's true, ish, just makes it legendary. Children of Men. Its cinematography is incredible. The acting and story flow of events is also perfect. Everything came together and it's beautiful. Edit, this got a lot of responses. If you haven't seen this movie, tread lightly reading the replies to my comment, as there are tons of spoilers. And this movie is probably the last movie you want spoiled, not that you want any movie spoiled but still. I want to be Michael Caine's character when I grow up, living in a remote area growing dank ass weed. Pull my finger. Fargo. You okay over there, Margie? Oh yeah, you betcha. The Truman Show. Prisoners. It never had a dull moment and always makes you think like if you're in that situation what would you do? Or. Oh he's the one who did it, duck NVM it's her. Oh it's him for sure or maybe it's. Etc etc the acting is only just the best acting can ever reach. Uck everything was just genius from start, middle to end. Silence of the Lambs. There will be blood is perfect in my eyes. Dr. Strangelove or, how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb the idea that all of humanity could come to an end because the people in charge are idiots still blows my mind. This movie was made 55 years ago. Little Miss Sunshine. The characters, and the cast selected for them, absolutely brilliant. The storyline is really in-depth yet relatable because the Hoovers are like any other family, complicated. The writing is superb, all the characters have development and impactful scenes. And the camera work, my word is it phenomenal. Time and time again each shot is symbolic. Every character's position and frame means something. Fantastic work. And don't get me started on the soundtrack. If you're not blown away by any of the sheer skill I've mentioned, the music throughout will definitely sway you. Touching and emotive, so fitting. It's so lovely and I always get emotional by its beauty every time I watch it. The Original Alien I'm 24 years old, born in 1995. First time watching was in the grandparents' farmhouse in Ireland. Grandmother puts it on at 10.30 and says enjoy lads, love you both and leaves us with Coca-Cola, crisps. You name it we had it, all the munchies two 12-year-olds could want. End of the film and I've never been so ducking terrified. Still scares me to this day and I practically know it word for word. Edit, thanks kind stranger for the silver award. Terminator 1 and 2 Easy A and basically every movie by Edgar Wright, Disney and Tarantino I can watch Scott Pilgrim vs. The World on loop without ever getting teared of it. Pulp Fiction Whiplash Were You Rushing or Were You Dragging? Harold and Maude Hashtag X200B, edit, wow, thanks a lot for Reddit Silver. Thanks, kind stranger. 21 Jump Street, I love it in its sequel, I think every joke in it landed for me so I was laughing the whole time. 